In this video, we're going to take a look at the circular copy tool. This tool will automatically create a repeating pattern by making copies of the selected object and positioning them around a full or partial circle. The number of copies to be made can be entered directly. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So let's go into the circular copy tool and you can see the first option you're presented with is the selected object size. Now what this actually does is it reports the current size of the selection that you're intending to copy. So this is for information only, but you can use these values if you copy and paste them uh, for other calculations. And now we also have our current rotation center. So what this is, you can see here, is our pivot point or our rotation center, and this is where we're going to rotate this object around. So I can actually take this and manually move it, and you'll see the coordinates are now updated. I can also edit the values myself so I can put in 5 and 5 here if I wanted to so if I move this up here so I can come up to the top here and I can click 5 and 5 and now you'll see the pivot point is now in the middle now an interesting thing to note here is if I move this circle closer the pivot point moves in relation to it so I can move it back again by doing 5 and 5 but it's a good thing to note if you're ever moving your vectors around so let's have a look at what happens when we use a step angle and create copies around this worksheet. So let's hit copy and it's copied around that pivot point in the center there but what's actually happened is a step angle is where the angle is used to copy the selected vector or vectors by this angle times the number of items. So let's have a look at the difference between that and using a total angle. Now if I copy this you'll notice they're a lot closer together. Now what's actually happening here is that the total angle is the number of items is divided into the total angle to give the incremental angle between each object. Now, with that illustrated, let's have a look at a different example. And we've got our star here, and currently you can see the orientation is that the point is at the top here, or this point is at the vertical point. So keep that in mind as we copy this around our center point. We're going to keep it at 5, 5. And I'm going to create 8 copies and I'm going to use a stepped angle and copy that around. And you can see now what's happened is the orientation is the same all the way around. That point is always at the top. But what happens if we use the rotate copies option? Well, what happens here is it actually rotates it as it goes around and makes that circular array. So you can see the point is actually turning and to the right or the left, depending on your inter interpretation, as it goes around this circle or the pivot point. And then finally, we also have the option to group the copies. So what happens when you group the copies? Well, currently you can see that these are all dashed lines, which indicates that these are vectors. They're individual items. So that you can select each one of these individually and move them and manipulate them individually. However, if I choose the group copies option, and I hit copy, these are now all grouped together. You can see this is now a solid line that represents these vectors. And if I move them, they all move together. And that covers how to use the circular array or circular copy tool in the software.